Hello all and welcome to today's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say a blessing. Blessed art thou, don't I, the king of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us, who rose us with the words of Torah. Please don't I, you speak the words of your Torah in the mouths and the mouths of all the people of Israel. May we in our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed you, Adonai, the new king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed you, Adonai, give her Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence so that he may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Well, uh, today's read is a bit of a doozy. We have four. We got Leviticus 16, 1 through 20, 27. Uh, Malachi 3, 4 through 4, 6, with emphasis on 3, 24. Ezekiel 22 through 20, and 22, 1 through 19. Okay, let's get started. Leviticus. Okay, Leviticus 16, 1 through 20, 27. Yahweh spoke to Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron. When they drew near before Yahweh and died, and Yahweh said to Moses, Tell her and your brother not to come at any time into the holy place inside the veil before the mercy seat that is on the ark, so that he may not die, for I will appear in the cloud over the mercy seat. But in this way Aaron shall come into the holy place, with a bull from the herd for a sin offering, and a ram for the burnt offering. He shall put on the holy linen coat, and shall have the linen undergarment on his body, and he shall tie the linen sash around his waist, and wear the linen turban. These are the holy garments. He shall bathe his body in water and put them on. And he shall take from the congregation of the people of Israel two male goats for a sin offering, and one ram for a burnt offering. Aaron shall offer the bull as a sin offering for himself, and shall make atonement for himself and for his house. Then he shall take the two goats and set them before Yahweh at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and Aaron shall cast lots over the two goats, one lot for Yahweh and the other lot for Azazel. And Aaron shall present the goat on which the lot fell for Yahweh, and use it as a sin offering. But the goat on which the lot fell for Azazel shall be presented alive before Yahweh to make atonement over it, that he may be sent away into the wilderness to Azazel. Uh, here goes my mouse again. Not working. Okay. Well. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Aaron shall present the bull as a sin offering for himself, and shall make atonement for himself and for his house, and he shall kill the bull as a sin offering before Yahweh. And he shall take a censer full of coals of fire from the altar before Yahweh, and two handfuls of sweet incense beaten small, and he shall bring it inside the veil, and put the incense on the fire before Yahweh, that the cloud of the incense may cover the mercy seat that is over the testimony, so that he does not die. And he shall take some of the blood of the bull, and sprinkle it with his finger on the front of the mercy seat, and on the east side, and in front of the mercy seat, he shall sprinkle some of the blood with his fingers seven times. Then he shall kill the goat of the sin offering, that is, for the people, and bring its blood inside the veil, and do with its blood as he did with the blood of the bull. Sprinkle it over the mercy seat in front of the mercy seat. And then... Blah, 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 blah. Thus he shall make atonement for the holy place. Because of the uncleanliness of the people of Israel. Because of their transgressions. All of their sins. And so he shall do for the tent of meeting which dwells with them in the midst of their uncleanliness. No one may be in a tent of meeting from the time he enters to, the, to make atonement in the holy place until he comes out. And has made atonement for himself and for his house and for all the assembly of Israel. Then he shall go out to the altar that is before Yahweh and make atonement for it. And shall take some of the blood of the bull and some of the blood of the goat. And put it on the horns of the altar all around. And he shall sprinkle some of the blood on it with its finger seven times. And cleanse it and consecrate it from the uncleanliness of the people of Israel. And when he has made an end of atoning for the holy place and attend a meeting in the altar, he shall present the live goat, and Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of the live goat and confess over it all the iniquities of the people of Israel, all the transgressions 
and their sins. And he shall put them on the head of the goat and send it into the wilderness by the hand of a man who is in readiness. The goat shall bear all their iniquities on itself to a remote area, and he shall let the goat go free into the wilderness. And then Aaron shall come into the tent of meeting and shall take off the linen garments and he, that he put on when he went into the holy place and shall leave them there. And he shall bathe his body in water and in the holy place and put on his garments and come out and offer his burnt offering and the burnt offering of the people and make atonement for himself and for the people. And the fat of the sin offering he shall burn on the altar. And he who lets the goat go to Azazel shall wash his clothes and bathe his body in water and afterward he may come into the camp and the bull for the sin offering and the goat for the sin offering whose blood was brought to make atonement in the holy place shall be carried outside the camp. Their skin and their flesh and their dung shall be burned up with fire. And he who burns them shall wash his clothes and bathe his body in water and afterward he may come into the camp. And it shall be a statute for you forever in the seventh month. On the tenth day of the month you shall afflict yourselves and shall do no work, either the native or the stranger who sojourns among you. For on this day shall be atonement be made for you to cleanse you. And you shall be clean before Yahweh all of your sins. It is Sabbath of solemn rest for you, and you shall afflict yourselves. It is statute forever. And the priest who is appointed and consecrated as priest in the Father's place shall make atonement, wearing the holy linen garments. And he shall make atonement for the holy sanctuary, and he shall make atonement for the tent of the meeting, and for the altar, and he shall make atonement for the priests, and for all the people of the assembly. And there shall be a statute for you, that atonement be, may be made for the people of Israel once in the year because of their sins, and Aaron did as Yahweh commanded Moses. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons and to all the people of Israel. Say to them, This is the thing that Yahweh has commanded. If any one of the house of Israel kills an ox or lamb or a goat in the camp or kills it outside the camp and does not bring it to the entrance of the tent of meeting to offer it as a gift to Yahweh in front of the tabernacle of Yahweh, blood guilt shall be imputed on that man. He has shed blood. And that man shall be cut off from among his people. This is to the end that the people of Israel may bring their sacrifices and they sacrifice in the open field, and that they bring them to Yahweh, to the priests, at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and sacrifice them as sacrifices of peace offerings to Yahweh. And the priest shall throw the blood of the on, on the altar of Yahweh, and at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and burn the fat for a pleasing aroma to Yahweh, so that they shall no more sacrifice their sacrifices to goat demons, after whom they whore. This shall be a statute forever for them throughout their generations. And you shall say to them, Anyone of the house of Israel of, or of the strangers who sojourn among them who offers a burnt offering or sacrifice and does not bring it to the entrance and attend a meeting to offer it to Yahweh, that man shall be cut off from his people. If anyone of the house of of Israel, the strangers who sojourn among them eats any blood, I will set my face against that person who eats blood and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your souls, for it is the blood that makes atonement by life. Therefore, I have said to the people of Israel, No person among you shall eat blood, neither shall any stranger who sojourns among you eat blood. Any one also of the people of Israel or of the strangers who sojourns among them who takes in hunting any beast or bird that may be eaten shall pour out his blood and cover it with earth. For the life of every creature is in its blood. Its blood is its life. Therefore I have said to the people of Israel, you shall not eat, any of, you shall not eat the blood of any creature. For the life of every creature is in its blood. Whoever eats it shall be cut off. And every person who eats what dies of itself or what is torn by beasts, whether he is a native or sojourner, shall be, wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. Then he shall be clean. But if he does not wash them or bathe his flesh, he shall bear his iniquities. And Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the people of Israel and say to them, I am Yahweh your Elohim, you shall not do as they do in the land of Egypt. Where you lived, 
and you shall not do as they do in the land of Canaan to which I am bringing you. You shall not walk in their statutes. You shall follow my rules and keep my statutes and walk in them. I am Yahweh your Elohim. You shall therefore keep my statutes and my rules. If a person does them, he shall live by them. I am Yahweh. None of you shall approach any one of his crow's relatives to uncover nakedness. I am Yahweh. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father, which is the nakedness of your mother. She is your mother. You shall not uncover her nakedness. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's wife. It is your father's nakedness. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your sister, your fa father's daughter, or your mother's daughter, whether brought up in a family or in another home. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your son's daughter. Or of your daughter's daughter. For your nakedness is your own nakedness. And you shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's wife, daughter, brought up in your father's family. Since she is your sister, you shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's sister. She is your father's relative. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister. For she she is your mother's relative. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your father's brother. That is, you shall not approach his wife. She is your aunt. And you shall not uncover the nakedness of your daughter-in-law. She is your son's wife. You shall not uncover the nakedness. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your brother's wife. It is your brother's nakedness. You shall not uncover the nakedness of a woman or of a daughter or of her daughter. And you shall not take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter to uncover her nakedness. They are relatives. It is depravity. And you shall not take a woman as a rival wife to her sister uncovering her nakedness while her sister is still alive. You shall not approach a woman to uncover her nakedness while she is in her menstrual uncleanliness. And you shall not lie sexually with your neighbor's wife and so make yourself unclean with her. You shall not give any of your children to offer them to Moloch as to profane the name of your Elohim. I am Yahweh. You shall not lie with a male of a woman. It is an abomination. And you shall not lie with any animal as to so make yourself unclean with it. Neither shall any woman give herself to an animal to lie with it. It is perversion. Do not make yourselves unclean by any of these things. For by all these nations I am driving out before you, you have become unclean. And the land became unclean. So that I am punished. Its iniquity in the land vomited out its inhabitants. But you shall keep my statutes and my rules. And do none of these abominations, either the native or the stranger, who sojourns among you. For the people of, <coughs> of the land who were there before you did all these abominations, so that the land became unclean, lest the land vomit you out when you make it unclean, as it vomited out the nation that was before you. For everyone who does any of these abominations, that the person who do them shall be cut off from among their people. So keep my charge over... To keep my charge never to practice any of these abominable customs that were practiced before you and never make yourself unclean by them I am Yahweh your Elohim and Yahweh spoke to Moses saying speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel and say to them you shall be holy for I Yahweh your Elohim am holy for one of you shall revere his Sorry, every one of you shall revere his mother and his father, and you shall keep my Sabbaths. I am Yahweh your Elohim. Do not turn to idols or make for yourself any, go, any gods of cast metal. I am Yahweh your Elohim. When you offer a sacrifice of peace offerings to Yahweh, you shall offer it so that you may be accepted. It shall, it shall be eaten the same day you offer it, or on the day after. And anything left over until the third day shall be burned up with fire. If it is eaten on the third day, it is tainted, it will not be accepted. And every everyone who eats it shall bear his iniquity, because he has profaned what is holy to Yahweh, and that person shall be cut off from among his people. When you reap the harvest of your when you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap your field right up to its edge. Neither shall you gather the gleanings after your harvest, and you shall not strip your vineyard bare. Neither shall you give the fallen grapes of your vineyard. Sorry, gather the fallen grapes of your vineyard. You shall leave them for the poor and for the sojourner. I'm Yahweh your Elohim. You shall not steal. You shall not make. 
You shall not deal falsely. You shall not lie to one another. You shall not swear by my father, by my name falsely, and so profane the name of your Elohim. I am Yahweh. You shall not oppress your neighbor or rob him. The wages of a hired worker shall not remain with you all night until the morning. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block before the blind. You shall fear your Elohim. I am Yahweh. You shall do no injustice in court. You shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great. But in righteousness you shall judge your neighbor. You shall not go round as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not stand up against the life of your neighbor. I am Yahweh. You shall not hate your brother in your heart, but you shall reason frankly with your neighbor. Lest you incur sin because of him, you shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am Yahweh. You shall keep my statutes. You shall not let your cattle breed with a different kind. You shall not sow your field with two kinds of seed, nor shall you wear a garment of cloth made of two kinds of material. If a man lies sexually with a woman who is a slave assigned to another man and not yet ransomed or given her freedom a distinction shall be made they shall not be put to death because she was not free but he shall bring his compensation to Yahweh to the entrance of the tent of meeting a ram for a guilt offering and the priest shall make atonement for him with the ram of the guilt offering before Yahweh and for a sin that he has committed and he shall be forgiven for the sin that he has committed when you come into land and plant any kind of tree for food, then you shall regard its fruit as forbidden. Three years it shall be forbidden to you. It must not be eaten. And in the fourth year, all its fruit shall be holy, an offering of praise to Yahweh. But in the fifth year, you may eat of its fruit to increase its yield for you. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. You shall not eat any, you shall not eat any flesh with the blood in it. You shall not in Interpret omens or tell fortunes. You should not round off the hair on your temples or mar the edges of your beard. You should not make any cuts on your body for the dead or tattoo yourselves. I am Yahweh. Do not profane your daughter by making her a prostitute, lest the land fall into prostitution and the land become full of depravity. You shall keep my Sabbaths. In reverence, my sanctuary, I am Yahweh. Do not turn to mediums or necromancers. Do not seek them out, and so make yourselves unclean by them. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. You shall stand up before the gray head, and honor the face of an old man. You shall fear your Elohim. I am Yahweh. When a stranger sojourns in your land, you should not do him wrong. You shall treat the stranger who sojourns with you as the native among you, and you shall love him as yourself, And you, for you are strangers in the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh your Elohim. You shall not do wrong in judgment in measures of length or weight or quantities, you shall have just balances, just weights, a just ephah, and a just hen. I am Yahweh your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, and you shall observe all my statutes and all my rules, and do them. I am Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Say to the people of Israel, Any one of the people of Israel, or of the strangers of sojourn in Israel, who gives any of his children to Molech shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. I myself will set my face against that man and will cut him off from among his people, because he has given one of his children to Molech to make my sanctuary unclean and to profane my holy name. And if the people of the land do at all close their eyes to that man when he gives one of his children to Molech and do not put him to death, then I will set my face against them, that man and against his clan, and I'll cut them off from among their people, him and all who follow him in whoring after Moloch. If a person turns to medians and 
Necromancer is whoring after them. I'll set my face against that person who will cut him off from among his people. Consecrate yourself, therefore, and be holy, for I am Yahweh your Elohim. Keep my statutes and do them. I am Yahweh who sanctifies you. For anyone who curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. He has cursed his father or his mother. His blood is upon him. If a man commits adultery with the wife, his neighbor, both the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. If a man lies with his father's wife, he has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon him. And if a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have committed perversion. Their blood is upon him. If a man lies with a male as with a woman, both of them sh have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon him. If a man takes a woman and her mother also, it is depravity. And he, he and they shall be burned with fire. That there may be no more depravity among you. If a man lies with an animal, you shall surely be put to death, and you shall kill the animal. If a woman approaches any animal and lies with it, you shall kill the woman and the animal. They surely shall be put to death. Their blood is upon them. If a man takes a sister, a daughter of his father, or a daughter of his mother, and sees her nakedness, and she sees his nakedness, it is a disgrace, and they shall be cut off in the sight of their children of their people he has uncovered his sister, sister's nakedness and he shall bear his iniquity and if a man lies with a woman during her menstrual period and uncovers her nakedness he has made her naked he has made naked her fountain and she has uncovered the fountain of her blood both of them shall be cut off from among their people you shall never uncover the, the, the nakedness of your mother's sister or your father's sister for that is to make naked one's relative, they shall bear their iniquity. If a man lies with his uncle's wife, he has uncovered his uncle's nakedness, and they shall bear their sin. They shall die childless. If a man takes his brother's wife, it is impurity. He has uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. You therefore shall keep all my statutes and all my rules and do them. That the land where am I bringing you to live may not vomit you out, and you shall not walk in the customs of the nation that I am driving out before you. And they did all these things, and therefore I have detested them. But I have said to you, You shall inherit their land, and I will give it to you as a possession, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am Yahweh, your Elohim. Who has, to sep <laughs> who has separated you from among the people? You shall therefore separate the clean beast from the unclean, and the unclean bird from the clean. You shall not make yourselves detestable by beast or by bird or by anything with which the ground crawls, which I have set apart for you to hold unclean. You shall be holy to me, for I, Yahweh, am holy, and I have separated you from the peoples, that you shall be mine. A man or a woman who is a medium or a necromancer shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned with stones, their blood shall be upon them. Malachi 3, 4 through 4, 6, Ephesus 3, 24. Then the burnt offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to Yahweh as in the days of old, and as in former years. Then I will draw near to you for judgment. I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers, against those who swear falsely, against those who oppress the hired worker for in his wages. The widow and the fatherless against those who thrust aside the sojourner and do not fear me, says Yahweh of hosts. For I, Yahweh, do not ch change. Therefore you, O ch children of Jacob, are not consumed. For the days of your fathers you have turned aside from my statutes and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says Yahweh of hosts. But you say, How shall we return? O oh, man, rob Elohim, yet you are robbing me. But you say, How have we robbed you? And your tithes and contributions, you are cursed with a curse, for you are robbing me, the whole nation of you. Bring the full tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and thereby put me to the test, says Yahweh of hosts. If I will not open the windows of the heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need, I rebuke the devourer for you so that it does not destroy the fruits of your soil, and your vine in the field shall not fail 
to bear, says Yahweh of hosts. Then all the nations will call you blessed. For you will be a land of delight, says Yahweh of hosts. Your words have been hard against me, says Yahweh. But you say, how have we spoken against you? You have said, it is vain to serve Elohim. What is the profit of keeping his charge or walking in walking as in mourning before Yahweh of hosts. And now we call the arrogant blessing. Evildoers not only prosper, but they put Elohim to the test and they escape. Then those who feared Yahweh spoke with one another. Yahweh paid attention and heard them, and a book of remembrance was written before him of those who feared Yahweh and esteemed his name. They shall be mine, says Yahweh of hosts. In a day when I wake up, sorry, when I make up my treasured possessions, and I will spare them as a man spares his son who serves him. Then once more you shall see the distinction between the righteous and the wicked, between one who serves Elohim and the one who does not serve him. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven. When all the arrogant and all the evil do evildoers will be stubble, that day is coming. Shall set them ablaze, says Yahweh of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you who fear my name and the Son of the Righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they <coughs> excuse me, will be ashes under the soles of your feet. On the day when I act, says Yahweh of hosts, remember the law of my servant Moses, the statutes and rules that I commanded him at Horeb for all Israel. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the great and awesome day of Yahweh comes. And he will turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the hearts of children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with the decree of utter destruction. Okay, Ezekiel 22 through 20. And the word of Yahweh came to me, Son of man, speak to the elders of Israel and say to them, Thus says Yahweh, your Yahweh Elohim, is it to inquire of me that you come? As I live, declares the Lord Elohim, I will not be inquired of by you. Will you judge them, son of man? Will you judge them? Let them know the abomination of their fathers and say to them, Thus says the Lord Elohim, On the day when I chose Israel, I swore to the offspring of the house of Jacob, making myself known to them in the land of Egypt. I swore to them, saying, I am Yahweh, your Elohim. On that day I swore to them that I would bring them out of the land of Egypt and into a land that I have searched out for them, a land flowing with milk and honey, the most gracious of all lands. And I said to them, Cast away the detestable things. Your, your eyes feast on every one of you, and do not defile yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am Yahweh your Elohim, but they rebelled against me, and were not willing to listen to me. Let them cast away the detestable things in their eyes. Their eyes feasted on. Neither did they forsake the idols of Egypt. Then I said I would pour out my wrath upon them and spend my anger against them in the midst of the land of Egypt, but I acted for the sake of my name, that it should not be profaned in the sight of nations among whom they lived. In the sight I made myself known to them in bringing them out of the land of Egypt, so I led them out to the land of Egypt and brought them into the wilderness. I gave them my statutes and made known to them my rules, by which if a man does them he shall live. Moreover, I gave them my Sabbaths as I signed between me and them that they might know that I am Yahweh, who sanctifies them. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They did, not, they did not walk in my statutes, but rejected my rules, by which if a person does them, he shall live. And my Sabbaths they greatly profaned. Then I said I would pour out my wrath upon them in the wilderness to make a full end of them, but I acted for the sake of my name that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations in which, 
in whose sight I had brought them out. Moreover, I swore to them in the wilderness that I would not bring them into the land that I had given them, a land flowing with milk and honey, the most gracious of all lands, because they rejected my rules and did not walk in my statutes and profane my Sabbaths, for their hearts went after their idols. Nevertheless, my eyes spared them, and I did not destroy them or make a full end of them in the wilderness. And I said to their children in the wilderness, Do not walk in the statutes of your fathers, nor keep their rules, nor defile yourselves with their idols. I am Yahweh your Elohim. Walk in my statutes and be careful to obey my rules and keep my Sabbaths holy. For they may be a sign between you, sorry, me and you, that you may know that I am Yahweh your Elohim. Ezekiel 22, 1 through 19. And the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, And you, son of man, will you judge? Will you judge the bloody city? Then declare to her all their abominations. You shall say, Thus says Yahweh Elohim, a city that sheds blood in her midst, so that her time may come, and that makes idols to defile its, herself. You shall become guilty by the blood that you have shed and defiled by the altars that you have made. And you shall, and you have brought your days near, the appointed time of your years to come. Therefore I have made you a reproach to the nations and a mockery to all the countries. Those who are near and those who are far from you will mock you. Your name is defiled. You are full of tumult. Behold the prince of Israel in you, every one according to his power, have been bent on shedding blood. Father and mother are treated with contempt in you. The sojourner suffers extortion in your midst, the fatherless and the widow are wronged in you. You have deprived my holy things and profaned my Sabbaths. There are men in you who slander to shed blood. The people in you who eat on the mountains, they commit lewdness in your midst. If your men uncover their father's nakedness, and you they violate women who are unclean in their menstrual impurity. One commits abominations with his neighbor's wife, another lewdly defiles his daughter-in-law. Another in you violates his sister, his father's daughter. In you they take bribes to shed blood. You take interest in profit. You make gain of your neighbor by extortion. But me you have forgotten, declares the Lord Elohim. Behold, I strike my hand at the dishonest gain that you have made, and at the blood that has been in your midst. Can your courage endure, or can your hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with you? I, Yahweh, have spoken, and I will do it. I will scatter you among the nations and disperse you throughout all the countries, and I will consume your uncleanliness out of you. And you shall be profaned by your own doing in the sight of the nations. You shall know that I am Yahweh. Come on, go up, yep, yep, there we go. And the word of Yahweh came to me, Son of man, the house of Israel has become drowse to me. All of them are bronze and tan and iron and lead in the furnace. They are drowse of silver. Therefore, thus says the Lord Elohim, because you have all become dross, therefore, behold, I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem. Well, that was a doozy. Da, 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 da. Blessed art thou, Donna, you king of the universe, who chose us from. Who gave us the Torah, truths of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Donna, who gave us the Torah, Bruka Tadoni, Hindu Malakalo, Master, and the Tamil New Trade, Met Beshalom, the Tabeta Kinu, Bruka Tadoni, and the Teen Hatra. Well, I hope you have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.